Today is November 20th. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with your spirit. Take a moment and quiet yourself. Take a deep breath. Welcome God's presence and say, Come, Holy Spirit. Today's reading is from the book of Acts, chapter 19. While Apollos was at Corinth, Paul took the road through the interior and arrived at Ephesus. There he found some disciples and asked them, Did you receive the Holy Spirit when you believed? They answered, No, we have not even heard that there is a Holy Spirit. So Paul asked, Then what baptism did you receive? John's baptism, they replied. Paul said, John's baptism was a baptism of repentance. He told the people to believe in the one coming after him, that is, in Jesus. On hearing this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. When Paul placed his hands on them, the Holy Spirit came on them, and they spoke in tongues and prophesied. The Apostle Paul tells the church in Corinth to pursue love and earnestly desire the spiritual gifts. Here, Paul traveled to Ephesus, and he prayed that they may be filled with the Spirit. These believers had heard the gospel message and were baptized into that knowledge by John. And now they experience the presence and the power of the Holy Spirit. As you come to prayer today, do you feel the presence and power of God's Spirit in your life? We know that God is always near to us. He is behind us and before us, above and beneath us. Wherever you are, God is. At the same time, scriptures like these remind us that there is also an experience of God's Spirit, not just an intellectual ascent, but an actual experience of the truth in the nearness of God. As you listen to the passage again, imagine what it was like for this group of new disciples moving from a head knowledge about God to an actual experience of God through the Holy Spirit. While Apollos was at Corinth, Paul took the road through the interior and arrived at Ephesus. There he found some disciples and asked them, Did you receive the Holy Spirit when you believed? They answered, No, we have not even heard that there is a Holy Spirit. So Paul asked, Then what baptism did you receive? John's baptism, they replied. Paul said, John's baptism was a baptism of repentance. He told the people to believe in the one coming after him, that is, in Jesus. On hearing this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. When Paul placed his hands on them, the Holy Spirit came on them, and they spoke in tongues and prophesied. Paul traveled some distance in order to pray for these new believers. 
to impart God's spirit to them and to encourage them. Imagine how their faith was built up and strengthened by Paul's willingness to be present to them. As you go through your day today, would you pray that God would bring someone across your path that you can encourage through the Holy Spirit? Look for ways this week to be like Paul, who is intentionally blessing others and praying over them. Come, Holy Spirit. Lord God, almighty and everlasting Father, you have brought me in safety to this new day. Preserve me with your mighty power that I may not fall into sin nor be overcome by adversity. And in all I do, direct me to the fulfilling of your purpose through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. My soul, come awake To hunger, to seek, to thirst Awaken First love, come awake and do as you did at first. Spirit of the of my soul pouring me to Spirit, come and fill this place. Let your glory now invade. Spirit of the living God, come fall afresh on me, come wake me from my sleep, blow through the caverns of my 
so 